Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being on my channel. We are talking about and healing from narcissistic abuse, uh, trauma, PTSD, all the physical symptoms that come with uh, this kind of annihilation. <laughs> um, I'm not laughing because it's funny, I just, it, it, it just, I laugh because I move my energy. You know what I mean? I'm here to help and like, I have to move my energy. I'm an energy worker. So like, sometimes I'll do things like that, but just know I'm moving the energy. I'm shifting the energy. I'm transmuting the energy. Nothing about this is funny. It almost ruined my life. Um, I was in devastating cycles of narcissistic abuse. And so not only can I understand it from, I talk about it from our point of view, right? From what you've been through and how you can come into your own authentic power, sovereignty and truth, how you reconnect with yourself, with God, with source, with your divinity again, how you claim your true life, right? I don't just intellectualize narcissism because that is the problem that's going on. And it's make, you know, like dealing with this as just a personality disorder is not true. It's a spiritual sickness. Narcissism is way beyond a personality disorder. Um, a narcissist is, a soul, is someone who is soul detached. They've made a spiritual choice to be soul detached. They're cooperating with an entity of consciousness, which a consciousness is a, is a collection of thoughts, ideas, and beliefs, which is why they all act the same. It's a very limited consciousness. On one level, love is also a consciousness. You choose to tap into what you want on this planet, but treating it like some kind of personality disorder is not the, it's not the truth. It's a spiritual sickness, and that's why it will deplete you at a level where nothing else will. Yeah, because what happens when you're cooperating with an entity like narcissism is that they are draining your life force yeah it's a life force attack not just a emotional mental attack although it does happen on a multi-dimensional level so here we heal on a multi-dimensional level and what I wanted to do with you today was an energy clearing right so if you're okay with that you can consent and anything that feels unokay you get to turn this off or you get to not consent right but you could just take a deep breath and come into your heart. And I want you to connect to me <laughs> and anyone, not a mesh, nothing like a narcissism, but just connect on a heart level. So just be aware of each other, everyone on this channel, everyone in this community, anyone that's been through something similar. Yeah. And I want you to drop your awareness down from your head into your heart, into your body. You might want to put your hand on your heart. Your body knows what to do. And I want you to tune into the fact, right, that we've all got a story that no one's going to understand fully, yeah? No one knows what it was like for you. No one's sat in your exact position. No one's been through the exact things that you've been through. No one's understood it, what it was like to be you, right? And I want you to connect with everyone that's been through something like this, a target, a victim of narcissistic abuse. And I want you to acknowledge that no one understands them either on some level. That we've all got a story why it's different for us. We've all got a story why we might think that it's harder for us, right? You might be dealing with things that seem harder to heal from. Maybe you've had it longer, maybe you're older, maybe you've got what you feel is a stronger disability, right? And I want you to acknowledge that everybody here has got one of those stories too. And I want you to open your heart, right, to acknowledge that everyone has a reason why it's harder for them. Doesn't mean it's true, but it does mean it's real. And see if you can just connect and send love to every single person that might have one of those stories where they feel misunderstood, where they feel it's harder for them. And perhaps they might even feel that if their story isn't as dramatic as someone else's, that they haven't even got the right to feel that way, right? And that if your story is more dramatic or what seems more dramatic, you might be more scared because it might seem more severe to you. And I want you to just kind of imagine that we've opened a portal, right, where we can transmute that and dump all that in there. While we all connect on the level that we've all got one of those stories where we're either scared that our story is too bad, or we feel like it's harder for us. No one quite gets how bad it is for us. We're, we're different in some way. Yeah, we've all got one of those stories, or both of those stories. Yeah. We're scared about what it means. 
and we also know that it's harder for us. And I want you just to imagine that those stories, those ideas, those beliefs, all that stuff, right, is kind of just like leaving your body. And don't worry, if this sounds weird, just don't worry. Whatever you can do, whatever you can't do, just let, just be with this experience. If you're okay with that, right, your soul knows what to do, your body knows what to do. And if it seems strange, it seems strange. Don't let your mind think anything. Just be with it. And I'm just going to imagine that there's this kind of portal <laughs> where you get to dump all that in. Yeah? And transmute it. You can let the universe do its job and transmute that into pure light. We can just let that all be there and go away from us. Because beyond that, there's just you. There's just you, little girl, little boy inside of you. This you that didn't really know what you were getting into. Yeah? Just you in your heart. Just you with something beyond your body, a soul, right? Something that you, you can connect back to. So you can just say now, higher self, come back into me now. Mm -hmm. You could put your hand on your chest again. Higher self, come back into me now. You can actually connect with your soul. You can actually ask to be full of your soul, your spirit, your essence, right? And know that what's ever going on with your mind, with your body, with your healing, with anything you've been through, it's not your ultimate truth. There's a part of you that's infinite. There's a part of you that's beyond all that. There's a part of you that can't be taken away. There's a part of you that knows. Yeah? And you might just want to open your third eye so you can like rub this area in between your eyebrows and just intend to activate your third eye now. And your third eye helps you see things so that you're discerning. You can just intend to receive that energy. And I want you to connect up through your crown now. And just receive to whatever level you can. It's kind of like an energetic shower. <laughs> Just imagine the light coming through and flushing out anything that you can release right now. Yeah? <sighs> the biggest part of your healing journey, our healing journey is to connect to ourselves. And the biggest part of our healing journey is also to connect to each other again. Yeah, that you don't have to be isolated and shut off from the world, that it can be safe to be in your body again. And sometimes when you drop into your body, it can feel very unsafe because we've got a lot of unpleasant emotions and feelings and things that we can't be with yet, right? So look back on the tools on this channel on PTSD and stuff, because even if you don't think you've got PTSD, the tools I share with you will help you come back into your body and process. Your body does know what to do. Hmm. And I want you to be willing to be with whatever's there, yeah? Not resist it, not need it to go away, just allow it to integrate, yeah? Sometimes we're resisting so much that we're trying to fight our existence rather than just knowing that we can walk with it and still grow. You can heal and expand, you can heal and grow, you can actually be healing and expanding as you go. Yeah, it's not like we do one first and then the next thing happens. We actually get to be all of it, do all of it as we evolve. That's evolution, right? If you can connect to your heart again, fill yourself up with your own energy. Yeah? And just imagine yourself radiating love out into the world. And feel how much like, you want your life to be better and be fuller and more fulfilled and more loving and more wonderful. And I want you to intend that for everyone here. I want you to give that as a gift in your energy. Yeah, like a blessing. Imagine you can just bless everyone here and bless yourself too. All right, my loves. Lots of love. I'll speak to you soon.